they're just great humanitarians. I learned very quickly that they were already serving on several community boards and just really have always invested into the community. He always wanted to do some type of a golf event to benefit literacy, so we were just in conversations and one thing kind of led to another. I will always credit Larry with this incredible statement he made very early on that was, if illiteracy was a disease, we would all be working together for a cure. I knew Larry as a reader before I knew Larry the baseball player. I forget that he's this big baseball legend. Like he's got a, oh, it's Larry Durker. And I just love it, I love it. And he's so amazing. He gives so much to these, to the people that utilize Literacy Advance. And he sincerely means it. And that's what makes it special. And so I wrote a golf book that came out a few months ago. And one of the first people I went to was Dirk to see if he would give me the celebrity quote for the back of the book. Uh, since I've known Dana and since her involvement in my golf tournament, she's gone from really horrible to mediocre. I know Larry and Judy from Foundry United Methodist Church, where I serve as one of the associate pastors. Judy is the one, that she's kind of the spiritual giant of the family, <laughs> and I'm just involved with some prayer retreats with her, as well as her vision to um, have a craft show, and she came to me, it was 14 years ago, and that's turned now into the Judy Durker Holiday Market. Larry is all about, um, I think, helping people help themselves. Whereas, you know, Judy kind of helps those that are unable to help themselves, but Larry is about um, helping others help themselves. Probably 20 years ago, Larry called me and he said, uh, you know, this religion stuff's my wife's domain, but I, I need to catch up. And so can you come over and we'll run a lap around the lake and then you can talk, about, talk to me about baptism. Well, what I love is that Larry and Judy have always, um, they've leveraged their influence and been good stewards of their fame and their uh, uh, recognition. We came to a part three, and I said, Larry, let's make this whole interesting, and uh, let's put 10 bucks on closest to the pen. He teed up, and I started to trash talk him, and he stuck it. And then the thought hits me, you idiot. He's pitched a no-hitter in the major leagues, and I'm going to psych him out. I know Larry and Judy as the fantastic, fabulous, absolutely wonderful people um, who have been supporting Literacy Advance for upwards of eight, nine years now. Larry's flexible and he's fun and, you know, he's always smiling and he's generous and he's contagious. And I was like, contagious? You know, they're like, yeah, he walks in the room and everybody's smiling. His love of the written word, his love of education, um, what that means to him. And then when he comes into Literacy Advance and his his great thoughts about what you can do in the classroom, how you can be a better tutor, how you can support the program, what that looks like. He puts all of that together and is constantly looking for a better way to be a better tutor. One of the things that I think is um, the great coincidences that life offers us is of course that Larry uh, threw his first professional pitch in 1964, uh, the year that Literacy Advance was born, and a great career was born, and I think it's very fitting that, you know, the kind of paths converged over the, over the years. Larry has done a really amazing thing for, yes, the agency, but more so for our students. You are so much to celebrate. Thank you so much for your passion, your commitment, and your faithful service of helping others. Charlie and I are so honored to be a part of this tribute uh, of all the people and events I've worked with over all these years, you are definitely at the top. You're an amazing guy. I would do anything to be in your presence at any time. Larry and Judy, I just want to congratulate you. Thank you for investing in lives of, of kids in our community, and we just appreciate you and, and love you very much for all you do. You are a great partner in the work, and you are leveraging your influence, as you and Judy both are, in making life better for others, and you're helping them to better their lives. And to, and to improve themselves. And so thank you so much for what you do. The two of you have been absolutely, fundamentally amazing to us. You are beloved. We can't thank you enough. And 
I guess I'd like to say thank you for just being you. Thank you for bringing us all the love and the joy and the support that you've brought us.